Okay guys, so before this video starts, I just have to let y'all know the audio. I didn't have my microphone plugged in. I thought it was plugged in. I didn't have it plugged in all the way. So the audio is literally just from my main camera. Uh, it's really low, so I just wanted to do that as a fair warning. So you might have to turn it up a little bit more. I did try to tweak it as much as I could. So I hope you do enjoy the video. What is going on guys, Ezra here. Welcome back to my cigar lounge. This is going to be my 15th cigar, my final one for a while. Like I said, I'm not doing this for a hot minute because I just don't have the time guys. We're gonna be change this channel i'm not gonna go through the whole thing all over again y'all can check the last two videos if you really want to know and go more in depth on like the reasonings why this is the arturo fuente chatu fuente i think that's what it's called i'll recheck it one more time yeah so it's called chatu fuente uh, by arturo fuente and this is the churchill size i don't know if i'm going to finish this whole thing today y'all uh, the cedar sleeve is gone on this one. I think it was sent to me by Ian. Big shout out to you for this, Ian and Andrew, for this whole entire series. It literally wouldn't have been possible without y'all. I mean, I could have kept buying them, but the only reason I'm making these videos is because y'all sent me so many. The wrapper on this can be either Cameroon, Connecticut, or Connecticut Broadleaf, and the origin is Dominican Republic. This is supposed to be a medium, and it also can be like a full body stick depending on like I guess which wrapper you get. It's supposed to have notes of like toast, I guess like bread. It also is supposed to have a little bit of coffee, uh, a little bit of spiciness to it. And apparently it's just supposed to be an overall good cigar. As always, we're gonna be using the trusty V-Cut lighter as you see here, love this thing. Uh, the sticker is a little bit loose on here. Uh, I definitely will probably take it all the way off soon, but I'll keep it on for at least the time being. As you see here, I'm gonna also have to take that band off in just a second, but we'll go ahead and get it cut up first. Got to smell it. This one honestly just smells like regular tobacco, like nothing crazy. It just smells like tobacco leaves. All right. Uh, heart shape just to end the season out. You know, we're going to do heart shape. I guess that's more of a diamond cut, but you know, it's all good. Here we go. All right, it doesn't feel too tight either. It feels like, like somebody made this correctly. Usually that's about right with our chill point today. Slightly veiny cigar. I'll let y'all get a little bit of close up one more time. This is a huge cigar, man. I don't know how y'all do these. This has to be only for celebrations. All right, cigar 15, here we go. Let's get it lit. Right, we lit that one perfectly. First things first, it's more of a dry type of smoke, but I definitely understand why they said that toasty note. That is the very first thing that I'm getting on the opening. Perfectly lit pour, as y'all see there. All right, I will talk to y'all in the first third. Y'all, this is a top five cigar. Automatically, oh. That's the only thing, the foot smoke. The foot smoke is horrible, but everything else, the burn, the construction, the flavors, this is a top tier cigar, definitely in top five already. It literally tastes like bread. Like I can't put it any other terms besides like just fresh made bread, just fresh made bread out the oven. If you've never had that, you really should try it. Uh, I've made fresh bread before and it tastes just like this it's blowing my mind now like i was literally sitting in the chair and i was just like how is this possible how <laughs> it's amazing this is literally one of the best cigars i've had and i am so glad that i waited until now 68 degrees outside right now it is perfect weather i'm only 12 minutes in this thing i uh, got a long way to go but i am enjoying this i don't know if i'll go all the way to the final third like to the nub on this because that's just way too much nicotine even though you're not inhaling it but y'all know what i mean i can't i just can't go that long that's crazy but i will talk y'all in the second third hey, if y'all hear something i'm watching a uh, call of duty live stream right now shout out to uh, ashley perkins i gotta give her a shout out when it's due that's who i'm watching right now so i'll leave it in the link in the description below but um check out this ash y'all this is crazy i guess we're pulling up in the second third right now Top tier cigar, like I said, there's still no complaints, same flavors and everything. I get a little bit of coffee here and there. It's like very little, 
a little bit of grit too. I noticed like it's a little bit of grit, but it's not bad. It kind of like reminds me of graham cracker in a sense, but I just can't believe the ash is holding on this long. I was like, I got to go ahead and film this for a little bit. This is crazy. If you haven't tried this cigar, you need to try it. If you already had it, let me know what you think of this cigar in the comment section below. I will talk to y'all in the final third. I hope you're enjoying this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see some more content like this. All right, guys. First of all, it is definitely colder outside now. I had to put a hoodie on. We are coming up on the final third. I'm not smoking all the way down to the nub on this one. We are already 55 minutes in. That's already over my time. You already know the longest I usually go is 45. So you're lucky I even went this far with this cigar. All I can say is you definitely need to go check this one out. Um, this was a great way to end it off. And I'm excited to try the Davidoff and the Arturo Puente again in the future. But like I said, that won't be for a long time. So I definitely appreciate each and every one of you that came by this channel who are new here. If you're new here, definitely go back and check out the other videos in the series. Because I'm telling you, it's really funny watching me from the beginning to now. I mean, I've learned so much and I can't say, all I can say is I thank each and every one of you all. I got a little bit of that foot smoke. Foot smoke is really bad on here. That's my only thing. Other than that, the burn is great. Um, it smokes very well. Like it just burns slow. There's no problems with any of that. The ash stays on really long. I actually had to tap it off because I didn't want it to fall on me. Um, it's a great cigar. I do have notes of cedar though now, and I still get that like toasty flavor. And I have that little bit of grit still, but it's kind of going away. This is an amazing cigar. 15 cigars, y'all. 15. This is number 15. And um, I'm glad I made this one 15. This is my last one. But be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more content coming to the channel soon. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with your friends. And until next time, peace out.